how to add and edit order bumps in system.io so if you are struggling to add new order bump or if you already have an order bump and struggling to edit it edit it pricing then watch this video till the end because in this video i will show you exactly how you can do it so let's just begin the video hello everyone my name is rishabh jain i am a funnel marketing coach and my mission with this channel is to give you the right strategies tactics and knowledge about the sales and marketing funnels so that together we can build and grow our digital business so let's just see that how we can do it so right now i am i am inside my system.io dashboard and there these are the uh, like uh, uh, funnels that i have so i am just going to edit this particular funnel and uh, show you exactly how you can do it okay so this is a funnel in which i have two steps the this is an order form and this is a thank you page so in order form suppose if you want to add a new order bump okay so how you will do it then let's just see first so the first thing that you have to do here is like what you can do you can simply go to edit page and uh, here after going into this page when you scroll down right you will see like here right there is no order bump right now okay let me just put it here so that uh you will be able to see it clearly okay let, let me just put it in between okay because here also i need to do something to work so here you can see right there is no order bump now here on the on this side when you will scroll down you will see there are few things like in payment section you will have payment button you will order bumps you will have payment methods and uh, and a couple of other options so what you need to do you need to just uh, do drag and drop this order bump here so where, wherever you want to put it just place it let's just place it just below the pricing okay like this okay this is a good place to like have the order bump because here the pricing is available and the people can check this box and add the your order bump in their uh in their purchase right so this is how this is how you do it but first let's just see that what changes you can make here so here like you can if you want to add this particular thing yes i want it and you want to you want to write something else you can do it from here okay like here uh when you will uh, just click here on, on this gear button you will it will take uh, it will take you to this side and here you can like add it everything okay so yes give it to me right like this so you can change it and also you want if you want to change this just click here click this gear button and you can change so many things here like you can change the color background you can change the background color you can letter change the letter spacing line height font size but i think this this looks pretty decent so i'm not going to change any of these things you can write here the content that you want right so you can do that right uh for example grab my hundred Dave's story or Instagram story prompts, right? For just rupees four nine nine. Okay, something like this. You can do it. You can do it. Okay, this is a very simple order bump, and uh, now you have added it, but it's still, uh you need it, it it's not done okay we need to do one very important thing here only then it will work okay so let's just save it save this and let me just show you one thing when you go when we go to preview and open it in a new tab right let's just open it like this and as you can see that uh, here this is the page and pricing is like 3499 which is here 
three four nine nine. So this is the standard price. But if I will click here in order bump, right? It's not working, right? It's not working right now, right? So it's not working right now. But it it will work. So let's just go back again, and let's do the remaining work so that it will start working. So the next step is you have to add the price of the order bump. Set the price of the order bump, and to do that, simply just go to this page inside your funnel and scroll down. And when you scroll down, you will see this option. Okay, let me just put it here. Add order bump. Just click it, and now you have to select the type of product. So let's select digital product. Now scroll down. Just select the resources that what which resource you want to add. Okay, so let's let's suppose I want to like give access to my community, or I can say it's a course. Suppose it's a course, so it is going to give me a couple of options like which course. Let's say for this example, let's say it's affiliate lead generator, lead lead accelerator blueprint, and uh, you can choose the access type. Like drip or partial or let's say full access, okay? Or you can choose anything. Like um, in resources, you have courses. If you if you the the courses that you have created, you can select it. You can select community, okay? So I in this case I am selecting the courses, okay? Let me I have to do it again. So I have given the full access now. You can you can like use these options, but I'm not going to use these options right now. And then you have to. This is a very important thing. You have to add the pricing. So just Click this plus button, and after that, just create a new plan. Okay, just give it the name. Suppose I have given it the name story prompts. Okay, story prompts. So let's just copy it and put it here and put it here. Like you can give different names as well, but uh, I think it doesn't matter. It's just for your understanding. This is the only name that is going to display on the order form, right? So after that, just select the type of pricing. It could be su subscription, it could be payment plan, it could be one time, and then you have to set set the price. So in my case, it's four nine nine, right? In for four nine nine INR, and let's just save it. Okay. Now the pricing plan you have you have given it here. You have added here pricing pricing plan. So now just go. Save it, okay. And uh, now I think the funnel is. I think it will be added. So now when you go here again and preview your funnel, and when you select like here, you can see three four nine nine. Now when you will select, you can see like it is it it is is showing the order bump four nine nine. It's working. Right. So now you it's sorted. You you know now you know that like how to add the order bump in System. Io. Now suppose you want to add it something like you want to add it the added like name or pricing or anything. So editing is not that not anything like any difficult part here. Suppose if you want to change the copy of your order order bump, then you simply go to edit like in in the page editor. You will you will scroll down and. Uh, You can make pretty much any change here, like the way we are doing in doing it in the beginning, right? Just simply click here, edit this gear button. You can change this thing, and just click here, edit this gear button, change anything here, or write, change your copy here. So here, editing is very easy. Just save it, no issues. Go back, and if you want to change the pricing, suppose. You want to change. You want to change the pricing. In instead of four nine and nine, you want to have some different price. Then in that case, it's not difficult at all. Simply you need to go scroll down here, and you need to just delete this particular pricing plan and add a new pricing plan. That's it. This is the way. Just delete it from here like this. Confirm it. Once you will confirm it. Let me just do it because I'm I I don't want to have the order bump, so just delete the pricing plan, add the new one, and that's all. Like you can select the any pre-existing plan if you have, for example, this, and I have a couple of pricing plans here that I have created in the past, so all it's showing all of those. You can select from those, or you can create a new one again, right? So this is how you will change the pricing and. Uh, Any time, if you don't want to have the order bump, it it also very easy to like remove. Simply just delete it from here, 
confirm it and now it's gone no order bump go to editor delete from there as well gone right so this is the way now you know like how to add the order bump how to edit the order bump in, a, in 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 terms of copy and in terms of pricing and also you know how to delete it completely remove it from your funnel right so i hope that this video you found this video helpful if you think that you got the solution of your problem let me know in the comment section and i have tons of videos on my video around system.io and funnel marketing and digital coaching business so if you are interested just go subscribe the channel and also watch those video i there is a card flashing on the screen just tap it and watch that video also see you thank you